All What's right. Up, yeah, yeah. Where you want me here? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Coach Gilpin. Yeah. Let's do it, baby. What do you think about that Super Bowl last night? <laughs> defense wins championships. Yeah, you know, huh? there's a there's an old adage that says defense wins championship, and it was Absolutely. proven last night without a doubt. You know, that Absolutely. Was, that was one. I thought if there was anybody that could solve them, it might be Peyton, but uh, they answered that question <laughs> uh, pretty soundly. So look, let's let's just get it right into it. Okay. Your district is murder. Yes. Yes, our district is murder. Okay. We are not really excited about uh about the toughness of it, and then we are excited about the toughness of it because we're going to be challenged week in and week yeah. out. It's a uh, yeah, with the up and coming Bella team, you know, with both the Sherrylands coming in, Rio, Roma, and us have been getting after each other for several years now. I mean, Valley View's been in the mix with us, and it's just, yeah, we got a, we got a heck of a district. There ain't no doubt. 31-4A or 31-5A is going to be a, going to be a bear, they say. Is it worse than last year's district, or is it, uh, how would you say? Yeah, you know, you, you take out Mercedes, you take out Ed Couch, you take out Mission. I mean, those are three dead gum good football teams, too. So, yeah. you know, it was pretty tough last year, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, with, with with the way it's set up, you know, Sherryland's been one of the top teams in the Valley and, you know, in the region, you know, for a while. Pioneer's going to get there, they're, without a doubt. Edinburgh Vela, I, I see them kind of like us, man. They're, they're right on the cusp of being one of the uh, top teams in the Valley, man, with a couple of with a couple of really solid years. You know, I think we're all in that kind of in that same boat. And Rio Roma have been there already, you know. Carlos and Max do a great job. I don't, <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to it, Jake, but I ain't looking forward sure, to it. Sure, yeah, it's going to be a tough district most definitely. I think actually the, the you know, the 5A, that 5A district might be one of the tougher ones, if not the toughest uh, one in the room. Well, I agree. I agree. You know, I haven't looked at everybody else's district. I've been pretty pretty busy this morning working on what sure. we're doing. And, uh, you know, but uh, obviously I'm going to looking forward to taking some time to look over everything. But for right now, uh yeah, our district's tough. Who's going to be on your non-district schedule? Well, we, we had two changes this morning. We had set up in our tentative agreements. We have Mission, that one held. We're Odessa Permian, that one held. We had Cal, yeah, Od Permian, Odessa Permian. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that. Yeah, yeah we wow. had Cal Allen, week three. We lost it because Cal Allen has mm -hmm. nine teams in their district. Mm -hmm. And Waters Lincoln stepped in this morning and took that for us. So we picked up Waters Lincoln in week three. Week four, we had Mercedes. We lost Mercedes because they went to an eight-team district. Sure. So we lost Cal Allen and Mercedes. PSJ North, we already had in place if Mercedes was to fall through. So they stepped into that slot. What is Lincoln, you know, kind of came out of the mix and, and said, hey, we need a week three. We need a week three. Let's go. So we got four, six, eight teams that we're, we're real excited about. Obviously, the rivalry game with Mission's a big one. And, you know, traveling to Odessa is going to be exciting for our for our bunch. And uh, yeah, Tell us a little bit about that. How did that all get started? You getting know, Carlos, all I here. did was say we are going to have to improve our non-district schedule. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, I want to put together a gauntlet. When I was hired six years ago, I, my idea was we'll play anybody anywhere. You know, the old Fresno State thought, you know. And that's what I've been looking at doing. And for the first time this time, I thought we could really step forward and do so. I thought we had the kids to do it. I thought our program's at a place that we need to do it. And so I called him. Mm -hmm. That's it. I called Odessa Permian. I called Cal Allen. I called uh, Gregory Portland. I called Manny over at Harlingen. Would have called Ron at Sherryland, except they're in our district now, mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to beef it up. And uh, he didn't call. For about six weeks, about eight weeks, you know, it was a while. He was scared of you. And, oh, no, I, I don't <laughs> think that was a problem. But uh, he gave me a holler and said, Coach, you still want that non-district game? Yeah. I said, yes, sir, I'd love to. And uh, Where's it going to take place? place? We're going to play up there at Rattler Stadium in Odessa. Real excited You're about traveling, traveling all the way up there? We're, we're going to wow. travel up. They're going to give us a little payout. We're, you know, we'll go with you. I don't want to talk numbers, but they're going to give us a payout to travel up, help us with our costs. Sure. And, uh, you know, it'd be, a, it'd be exciting for our kids. They've all seen the movie. Some sure. of us have read the book. And, yeah. uh, you know, I <laughs> think uh, and then the movie. You know, getting a taste of state championship football sure. is what they, you know, I think they've got five, six state championships. Right. Cal Allen's been in the final four, five, or six times. So we really felt good about our non-district schedule. What, what week is the Permian game? Week so, two. Week, week two. two. That way I can put it on you right now. So. Week yeah. two. Yep. And, and I think that's a, that's a good matchup because a lot of people think, well, you know, you got all these uh, – you know, the Houston schools, right. you got the San Antonio schools, right. the Dallas schools, they always go to the state championship. Yeah. Can the Valley ever do it? Yeah. Well, if Odessa can do it, why can't the Valley right. do it? It's Odessa's similar type kids. They're similar, not that big. Exactly. Similar type kids, you know, a great work ethic. Uh, you know, we're just uh, – here's what I've said, Carlos, and I've, and I've said this many times, and I could talk to you for 30, 45 minutes, an hour on the reasons to do these types of things. But one of the reasons and the most important thing for us as a staff is for us to evaluate our team, our schemes – against teams of that level mm -hmm. on the field. 
not from the bleacher scouting, not from watching film, not from watching a state championship game on TV, yeah. from getting the live action with these kids allows us to evaluate, okay, what do we need to do to compete at this level? Do we need to change the scheme? Do we need to change our personnel around, the, the, you know, the types of personnel we're running? What do we need sure. to do? Um, and so we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, again, you know, I just told uh, one of the reporters right now that I was speaking to, you know, it gives a kid like a Santos Villarreal. We've got two or three other kids that we think can play at a high level of college football, mm -hmm. you know, good-sized kids, and it allows them as they go into a, to a recruiting situation for me to say, this is what we did versus – Oh, that's a permit. You know, last yeah. year we played Zapata. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, this is what we did against Zapata. May, they may not, because the way they look at things, sure. not feel the same. But if I say we did it against a permit, we did it against a Cal Island, right. this kid can play at your level. And it gives a kid like Santos a little bit more recruitability, if you, sure, if, if you want to say so. So, you know, that's just a couple of the reasons. And Santos is coming back one more year, right? Santos is coming back. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been around he'll, a while. Yeah, he's been around a We've while. We've been talking he, about him a while. Yeah, he's a. Uh, you know, he's, he's still out with that injury from the he's, football season when we came against Mission. Yeah. But uh, he'll be having surgery Wednesday morning to remove the pins in his foot. And we're looking at probably three or four weeks of rehab. And then hopefully after that, we're ready to, to get him get him going again. You got spring ball or not? Yes, we will have spring ball, okay. without a doubt. We uh, That's just my belief. My philosophy is I think it's important that second scrimmage is not that important to me yeah. in, in the fall. It's just kind of another week of, of heat and grind that mm -hmm. the coaches, staff, and the kids, you know, don't need by week four or week five. So, we're uh, we'll go spring ball in May again, maybe the end of April, into May. But uh, you know, hopefully he'll be full blow for that. If not, you know, he pretty much knows our system by now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we can let some of the other guys get some reps if we need to. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Coach guys. All right. All right, all right. Hey, I like your glasses. Oh man, they're chic. Those are like a model. Yeah. <laughs> nine nine ninety nine at the dollar store. <laughs>